Um, the the story which I'm going to share, uh, I have titled it as Building Bridges. And so the it uh, as the title, uh, you know, connotes that there is uh, there is some fragmentation and which women really try to bring the communities together. So I would like to share the experience of Uthan, an organization working with most vulnerable communities, especially Dalits, Muslims, tribal, and poor since 1981 in Gujarat, Western India. Its engagement uh, has been uh, mainly in building gender sensitive people's institutions around issues of right to water and sanitation, livelihood security, gender equality, and women's rights, as well as conflict transformation leading to justice and peace. 2002 was a very clear watershed consolidating the polarization of Hindus and Muslims in Gujarat. It targeted violence against Muslims, left more than 3,500 Muslims dead, a large number of women and girls raped, and incomparable destruction of their properties and assets. Panchmahal was one of such districts severely affected by the violence. Uthan team had contacted the Muslim families living in the relief camp uh, soon after the violence. Most of these families returned to their villages after a long time, still gripped with fear, anxiety, and despair. There was hardly any relief or support for their immediate rehabilitation from the government. However, some of the Islamist relief organizations provided some help, which too was barely enough for the survival of these families. Uthan team, overwhelmed with the, with the impact uh, and the dire situation, made efforts to reach out to the women to be with them, understand their fears, issues, and needs. We found that few Muslim women, not necessarily those in leadership position, expressed that for them and communities, it would be very important to restore their relationship with other communities with whom they had lived for so long. However, they felt that there should be a strong initiative from the Hindu and the tribal community leaders to do so. We talked with a number of women from different age, caste, religion on what could be done to move forward from present situation. There were different responses. Very old Muslim women said that we are nobody to punish the guilty and Allah will do that. There were women from the Hindu and other communities who said Muslims should forgive and forget what happened and start living normally. They were the younger generation of Muslim women who said they cannot be peace without justice and that it would be extremely difficult to forgive or forget without remorse from the communities whose members participated in the violence. Guilty must be punished. These dialogues did bring a few Muslim, Hindu and tribal women together. Salma Ben, Manju Ben, Naseem Ben, Ratni Ben, and many more I can uh, really name here. And few others from Sanjeli, Sant, Jhalot, uh, these are the villages from which uh, these women are coming from, who emerged as leaders with strong passion of bringing the fragmented society together. They had a clear understanding that justice for the affected communities is an essential condition for peace. Obviously, this required intensive interaction fearless and sensitive dialoguing and a space to understand, reflect, and build strategies or for collective actions towards justice and peace. As a first step, they discussed this among themselves. How would they bring women together against this communal politics which had polarized them? Almost all Muslim women contacted expressed the need for toilet and water facilities near, the, near their house simply because of safety and security reasons. Women's Leaders Group suggested that Uthan should help the women in securing immediate assistance for building sanitation facilities near their homes. An intensive discussion took place on what would be the impact of such a move. Surely it will meet the safety security needs of the Muslim women and girls, which was extremely important, but how will that engage women from other communities? So, a strategy was worked out that Muslim women will be fully supported for building the sanitation facilities, while there will be a small revolving fund for other women who would access the resource as a very low interest loan. This was well received, and about 200 toilets were built by Muslim women, and about 300 built through loan support. 
For accessing water, there were hand pumps in different locations, which the Muslim women and men now feared to go to. So the women leaders took the help of children and few other members living around those hand pumps to ensure safe access to the Muslim community. Meanwhile, women leaders also approached government to install new hand pumps near the houses of the Muslim communities. The women leaders' dialogue continued to explore strategies and initiatives based on a gender justice perspective and approach. Another common need identified was to have a safe place for washing and bathing. It's called Dhobigat in the local language. There were several rounds of meetings with women from both the communities, separately as well as together, resulting into identification of three appropriate locations by the women from both the communities. Women were also involved in the type of design they wanted. Dhobi cars were built and leaders supervised its construction closely, encountering a lot of resistance and obstacles from some community leaders. Salma Ben, Manju Ben, Naseem Ben, Ratni Ben felt very, very happy and excited that they were able to create a common platform and opportunity for women of both the communities to come together, which they hoped then would lead to re-establishing some kind of dialogue and later on help in restoring their fragmented relationship. Well, after a few days, they realized that women from both the communities were surely using the facilities but had clearly divided their timings. Women leaders felt frustrated that their efforts had not met the objective. They soon realized that unless and until they address and help women on addressing their basic underlying factors of fear, hatred, and distrust, polarization will continue to remain. Hence, they all took it on themselves to talk to the women several times, mobilizing a mixed group and accompanying them to go to the Vigar. They soon found out that the fears were instilled generally by men who wanted women to remain in the boundaries of their own caste, religion, and not mix with others. The women leaders slowly helped creating opinion leaders, consisting both of men and women. They would intervene whenever there were processes by some to keep the communities divided. They reminded the communities of the ill effect of communal divide and violence, reiterating the need for a peaceful society through an enabling environment of mutual trust, respect, and sensitivity towards those who were pushed into a vulnerable situation. Slowly, women started interacting with each other. Mainly Muslim women expressed their pain, fear, anger, and frustration, and Hindu tribal women listened to them, some sympathetically, some with indifference, and some with feelings of helplessness. It took a long time for women of other communities to respond sensitively to do these emotions. Once they were able to reach a level of understanding and sensitivity, they realized why and how justice is important for their peaceful coexistence. Slowly, a women's federation called Mahila Ikta Sangatan, meaning Women for Oneness, emerged, consisting of women from mixed communities. It has been operational since 2004, continuing to work on building gender just and peace perspective by strategically working on several issues such as violence against women, water and sanitation, help accessing justice for families affecting, affected by violence, integrating secular perspectives in schools, access to entitlement uh, and resources for improving livelihood security, interdependent livelihood, forging alliance with other, including youth sensitive citizens groups, police, teachers, and several, several other groups. Women leaders did realize that in such conflict situation, women could take a strong lead in building bridges to transform these conflicts for establishing justice and peace, bringing them together around their common issues such as water, sanitation, poverty, violence, etc., is a strong strategy which eventually helps in fighting patriarchy, caste, and religious dogmas, and identity politics which divides them and keeps them vulnerable. Ekta Mahila Sangatan has now more than 1,500 members from three districts who have now joined the campaign for social justice and peace. Uthan continues to facilitate sharing and learning 
sharing uh, 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 of uh, these learning perspectives, strategies, and interventions in other areas. And at the end, I would like to really, really thank and I would like to salute those brave hearts, those women, Salma, Manju, Nasim Ben Sajida, Resham, and so many others who, as well as Uttan team, who really stood fearlessly in that situation and went through the process. And uh, our dear friend, Velmo Tokabeke, who also accompanied us through this whole experience. Thank you so much.